only reason we're upset is because you're not coming to get them fast enough. We are ready to repair our country from trauma, their trauma. And when they come, don't send them back. And we're not going to say we told you so. Ma'am, nobody forced you to believe in feminism and nobody forced you to betroth yourselves to the government. Like other people that speak another language is ignorant. Okay, then why do you care? And that's the furthest thing from the truth. There's a language barrier. It's ignorant of you to feel like someone who you can't communicate with isn't intelligent. So they're going to get a culture shock when they go over to these countries and find out that these women don't want you either. <laughs> and they're not going to put up with your shit either. Assuming that someone who is not born in an English-speaking country can't speak English just shows how illiterate and out of touch you are. And you know what? Men are able to learn new languages, especially if that language helps you communicate with in-shape, beautiful, feminine women. <laughs> I'm here for it. Wait till they find out that just because she can't speak English doesn't mean she can't see your dumb ass coming 15 miles away. And they think we finessing? Ooh, they must never seen 90 Day Fiance. Because these women finna finesse you out of all your little coins. Oh, so you agree that American women only date men for money? Do you see that? If you let women talk long enough, they will always expose themselves. And don't make assumptions about other women. It is not because you are a 304 that other women from different cultures are like you. Go out the country to find your wife. This is not the flex you think it is. I've seen this happen in real life. Where a woman will be everything a man needs to get her citizenship. And the minute she dies, she's kicking rocks. Yeah. Ought to be some dummies. Because the same standards we have, the same standards they have. Y'all just too stupid to know about it. Says the woman who is too insecure to show the world her true hair. Maybe that is why men are going overseas. They are tired of weave-headed walking mouthpieces. And Filipino women who are also Asian have a tendency to be more loyal to their partner. This is absolutely disgusting to me. This is why I specialized in intersectional feminism and I cannot let this go. You can go watch the original creator's video if you want, but I'll give you a trigger warning. It's gross and full of these two things. First, I wanna make this super clear and I will not stutter. If you are a man, specifically a white man, who seeks out women from developing countries who are poor and vulnerable, you are a predator. This man in his video goes on to perpetuate a horrific stereotype that literally harms Asian women that says that Asian women are more submissive and loyal than Western women. The reason these women from these developing countries are marrying you is the exact same reason that American women had to marry you before the 1970s, because they had to, because they were economically vulnerable. And now American women won't marry you because we can have our own jobs and our own bank account. Okay, madam, everything you have in life, you have them because men allow you to have them. You are educated because most men agree that women should have an education. Men built the world you live in. The machine that you are using to show to the world how disgruntled and bitter you are, were built by men. Men built and are maintaining a society that is allowing you to get by on your own. There is absolutely nothing that women have that was not created, built, or given to them by men. So, have some gratitude. So you have to go to a developing country where those women are more vulnerable so you can get them. That's a predator. I have worked in and around the military for a good amount of my career, and I actually lived in Asia for a little while. You should see the lines out the door of the visitor's office to get a visitor's pass for their Asian girlfriends on these bases. And almost every single one of them will tell you they like the Asian women better because the Asian women know how to treat a man. The Asian women are quiet and submissive. The Asian women know their place. Which brings me to my point on intersectional feminism. Y'all have heard that one in three women will experience domestic violence at some point in their life. Oh, now it makes sense. You are mad because when given the choice, no man will choose you. Feminists are so dumb and unaware that at this point I'm starting to think that being a feminist is a mental illness. Now, take it home, mentally sane women. 
This is absolutely disgusting to me. This is why I specialized in intersectional feminism and I- Just as a disclaimer, she's not actually an intersectional feminist. In reality, she's a white feminist who has a severe problem with white superiority and white savior complex. Because surprise, surprise, as the white American that she is, she has a huge bias and it's all over her video. And wow, she carries a lot of baggage, but let's get into it. The original creator's video if you want, but I'll give you a trigger warning. It's gross and full of these two things. So as we'll see in her video, she's actually the one who spews racism and belittles non-white women. If you are a man, specifically a white man, who seeks out women from developing countries who are poor and vulnerable, you are a predator. Why are you assuming that just because a woman lives in the Philippines or any other Eastern nation, she's all of a sudden poor and miserable and vulnerable? You are perpetuating racist stereotypes about non-white people in non-white countries. Not everybody in these countries is poor and miserable and oppressed. Not everybody actually cares to live in an industrialized nation. Because that's really what development means, by the way. The developed nations that you're talking about really just have infrastructure and technology which actually run their economy, which is why they're quote-unquote developed, which is actually a Western definition of developed nation. Because in actuality, the real definition of a developed nation is a nation where the population in that nation is united upon an idea. Because when people are united upon an idea, they actually work together in society and they do not fight. When people cooperate and get along, they actually work together upon a common goal which in turn results in that quote-unquote developed nation that you think is a developed nation that has the infrastructure and has the economy because people are united and work together. Ask anyone who studies the rise and fall of an empire, they'll tell you that the reason why any nation will decline is because of disunity amongst the people. And I think as an American yourself, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The American world order has barely lasted like 60 years and y'all are already on the decline which just goes to show how unsustainable your ideology and society really is. Now, when white people just assume that non-white people, particularly non-white women, are just oppressed by default, this is very imperialist, colonial, and white savior complex. Now, I have a question. Let's say an ethnic man who lives in North America married a woman from his home country, and then she moved to North America with him. Would you call this man a predator? even though the reason why he married her is because in North America it was really hard for him to find a spouse because of language and cultural barriers. Like, are you really gonna go around calling all of these men rapists? Like, please tell me you see how outrageous your claim is. And would that apply to me? If I went and married a man from Lebanon because I'm Lebanese and I brought him to Canada, would I be a predator? Well, no, because the feminist definition of predator and violence only applies to men, not women. Now, particularly in regards to the man that you're stitching and attacking in your video, I'm wondering if you took the time to actually lurk his page. Because if you go on his page, it's mostly just about his life in the Philippines. Now, if you, Danielle, have some evidence where you've actually spoken to this woman yourself, and she's told you that she is sexually abused and you have evidence for that, then by all means, show us, and I will gladly delete this video. However, if your entire video attacking this man is simply based off of the premise that he's an American man married to a Filipino, and he said that Asian women are typically more loyal, then I'm sorry to say, but you have a serious lack of cognitive ability to listen and process information. It's interesting, in your video, you started talking about how he said, oh, these women are submissive, and then you just went off about submissiveness. In his original video, he never said that. He said that these women are more loyal, which is actually statistically true. People in America fornicate and commit adultery like rabbits. Everybody knows that. Women in Africa, Asia, or South America are typically more loyal because they have more family values. Or sometimes two individuals meet, fall in love, get married, decide to have a family together, and have a mutual respect for each other and foster a super supportive relationship. And there's nothing gross about it. And just so you know, this statement plays exactly into the racism, model minority myth bullshit, and fetishization you think you're actually standing against. 